Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We've got a can of Legion Lager by the Whitewater Brewing Company. Yes, indeed. I have had their Class 5 IPA and their Farmer's Daughter Blonde Ale, which, as far as I knew, was the only beers they make. Apparently, they make this and actually a couple other ones as well. This and the Farmer's Daughter and the IPA are the only ones distributed all over the place, though, as far as I know. Lager should be pretty drinkable. Let's crack it open. And let's see what we have got. This beer, from what I can see, it's got a poppy on the back of it and the name Legion. I believe it has something to do with the Canadian Legion. Let's get a picture. Actually got a little bit of cloudiness going on. There is a little bit of chill haze, but there's also a little bit of kind of haziness to the beer. It's interesting. I'm not really seeing sediment, just not full transparency. That smells like air. I'm getting like the slightest tiny bit of a loggery kind of aroma. Let's give her a shot. Mm. Oh. That is really nice. Just nice, crisp, clean. A little bit of that nice malty flavor that I like. Not overpowering or anything. Yeah, very, very drinkable beer. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. That's really, really smooth. The flavor is, it's not huge, but it's really nice. This is another one of those beers that I would highly recommend as a transition into craft beer kind of beer. Mmm. I like, I'm a fan. Legion, they say there's no place like home. They're right. From coast to coast to coast, our landscape def our landscapes define us and our communities bind us. Here's to home. The Legion Lager is proudly brewed by friends for friends in partnership with the Royal Canadian Legion. 5% of Legion Lager sales go towards supporting veterans programs across Canada. That is pretty cool. And it even says right there, good segue, find out more at whitewaterbeer.ca. They're located in the Ottawa area. This particular beer, like right there on top. Bam, ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, yeast. I like it. And uh, 5%, 20 IBUs. And we have a date of June 26th. So that is a canned on date. They're doing everything right. Yeah, you, you, good on you, Whitewater, for sure. And like, come on, that's just a really, really cool kind of non-stop video they've got on their website there. I watched it for a good, oh, there it goes. Yeah, I was gonna say, I guess I didn't watch it long enough, but well, it did it again. I thought it would be more seamless than that. It's not though. I'm sure they could have hired somebody to make it blend together into one loop, one non-stop, never-ending loop of watery awesomeness. Untapped rating for this beer, 3.42 out of 5, 234 ratings overall. Exactly the same description. Bold, smooth, 
what a goddamn lager is supposed to taste like. Um, yeah, I can't really argue with that person at all. Pretty good. That's much less enthusiastic. Great spot in Port Dal. How I don't know. That's they're drinking it somewhere. Talking about where they're drinking more than the beer. Decent lager, more flavor than Canadian. Well, I should hope so. And that's actually the only website that it was found on. So, yeah. Beer Advocate, right beer. You guys are dying. Randomly here, though, I think I might. White Water Beer. .ca. Oreo. I don't know if the microphone was picking that up, but he's like walking back and forth on the couch, rubbing himself. He's he's almost getting back to the point where the cone is going to have to go on him. I really don't want to do that. If anybody has any advice, anything else I can try, I've changed his food. I've got really good shampoo for him. I. I've done everything I can. I don't know what else to do. There we go right there. There's two other beers by this brewery. I might as well pull them up over here. So we can all see them together. Right there. So the first one is the Farmer's Daughter Blonde, which was had. Sorry. God damn yawn. The Whistling Paddler English Style Ale is the next one which I would really like to try. Excuse me, and then the India Pale Ale, which I tried. Then they have a Midnight Stout, which is an oatmeal milk stout, which again, sounds really, really good. And then if we scroll down a little bit, there's the one we're having right now, Legion Lager. And then this other one is something to commemorate Doug Gilmore. Wow. Pretty famous player for the Maple Leafs. Oh, and then we go down here, they got some seasonals too. Look at them go. It's not bad. It's not bad. A pal, what though? Look at this. If you go down here to where to purchase. Not sure if you can really read that, but the brewery has, you know, everything. The beer store apparently has Whistling Paddler and that Midnight Stout. Hmm. Oh, and if I click on it, it gives me the locations, really? Do it. Find out if it's available here in my hometown. Probably not. If that's alphabetical, it's not. Why would, why would that not be alphabetical? But holy crap, no, it's not. It's barely available anywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like ten beer stores all in the Ottawa area. And I assume it's the same way with the stout. Sure is. Oh, darn you, white one. teasing me. Yeah, I got, I got nothing bad to say about this lager. At all. It's what a lager should be. And it's like, it's a really, really, really well done beer, you know? Anybody that drinks any kind of beer could pick this up and drink it and be fine with it unless i don't know the only style of beer you drink is sour beers or something like that which i don't know that's gotta be hard in your wallet sour beers are pricey drink number last <sighs> mm. white water brewing your legion lager rating I gotta give that a frickin' 10. 
There's like there's nothing wrong with it. And you got everything that I like to see. It, it's just I'm very, very happy with this beer. You should be happy with yourselves. And that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. You want to see more of my videos and smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another daily vlog tomorrow. A peace out! It's actually kind of funny. I'm just noticing this now. They have the ingredients up top, and they have their website up top, and they have where they are up top. Three things that I'm always trying to look around and figure out like yeah decent template for any new brewery right there